Protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. So if you're scouring the caravan magazines looking for a replacement caravan or perhaps your first caravan, let me introduce you to the Coachman Laser. This is a four berth caravan, but in actual fact, you could better describe it as a two plus two because it's got a fixed double bed and it's got the uh, option here at the front of the caravan in the lounge area to make up into another double bed should you want it. It's a twin axle caravan and the towing weight is 1800 kilograms. So if you do choose one of these, you will need something like a Land Rover Discovery or something of that size. The other thing to bear in mind, particularly if it's your first caravan, is this would be quite a large unit to manoeuvre. Now, if you're coming into a site, you'll need to be quite good at towing and reversing in order to get this in without causing too many problems out on the road. So, outside, it's got the normal cupboards for external electrical socket, barbecue socket, together with the uh, vents for the Truma heating system that's installed. So moving around to the front of the caravan, we've got a nice large space here for the gas canisters and you can fit two or three in here, bearing in mind of course that our heating system can work off either electric or the gas. And of course what is now on most caravans is the Alco uh, trailer control and if you're not aware of how that actually works, it detects whether or not the trailer is swaying and will automatically apply the caravan brakes. So it's a very good safety feature and is now on most caravans. Right, let's join me in the lounge area then. Plenty of space, which is the nice thing. Four, five people around here if you wanted to. And if you did want a game of cards or you wanted to have something to eat without having to set up the table, then you've got this, touche. Also, there's a chest of drawers underneath and you could move this if you wanted to set up the bed and make it that much larger. Underneath the uh, seating, you've got storage sp space over here together with all of the controls and the machinery for the Truma heating system. Above here, there is the facility for the directional aerial. So again, you don't have to adjust it outside in the bad weather. All that can be done from inside the caravan itself, <coughs> together with the numerous lights underneath that again will help it when it comes to reading or whatever it is you're gonna be doing in the evening. As we move up towards the center of the caravan, we've got the kitchen area. We've got a decent sized work surface together with a good size sink and a, re a reasonable sized draining board but enough to do the amount of people that you're going to be having here on a regular basis, together with the Thetford fridge and the freezer compartment, and again, a good size. There is plenty of storage, and together, underneath this bottom cupboard, are all of the gas controls for the hob. Now, moving towards the back of the caravan, where we've got a center island fixed bed. I just want to show you a very good uh, little method of separating the bathroom from the main area of the caravan. And that's because the door from the bathroom actually secures to this frame here using two magnets. So in actual fact, it has the effect of making a double bedroom with an ensuite, which again is a nice feature. You'll see that it's only got the sink and the toilet in there. And that's because the shower is a separate shower on the opposite side of the caravan. And if you are one that doesn't like to miss their regular soap, pardon the pun, there is the television shelf just outside. However, I'm sure you've already identified who's going to want to have a television right next door to possibility of a shower in case the water gets over onto the electrical fixtures. And that's something to perhaps bear in mind and perhaps it's the best place to have the television in the main area of the caravan away from the risk of the water. However, the fact that they're two separate entities does make this a very nice feature. Plenty of space, again, in the bedroom area. And what's nice is the cloth fittings, the headboard, is exactly the same as the main upholstery in the lounge area. Nice and light because we've got this skylight again here. So all in all, this is a very, very 
comfortable caravan. Four, as I said in the opening, two plus two, or if you've got on a regular basis four people, then of course that can be converted on a regular basis. And being the length it is, it does mean there's a lot of space in this caravan if you want to put it on your shopping list. Well, that's the Coachman Laser. If you like it, 26 foot long. So you're going to need somewhere to store it or you're going to need a decent area beside your house in which to be able to park it. Just bear in mind that the cassette toilet is going to be emptied from the same side as any awning as you might have. But for a price of just under 15,000, I don't think you can go far wrong, do you?